Hello everyone, today I have a haul from Yummer's Delight to share with you. Um, I'm really starting to love this vendor. <laughs> um, first of all, look how cute this business card is. Cash is up walking around, so you're gonna hear him. <laughs> I really need to get a rug in here. Um, Anyway, look how cute this business card is. They're on Facebook, Instagram, their website's down there. Um, they change up these cards, I've realized. Um, my last order had like an Easter themed card and then from watching other people's videos, they change them like frequently, kind of to go with the season and I love it, it's very cute. Um, and then I'm telling you guys, this is some of the best like packaging that I've seen from any vendor. Um, they make sure that the package is like sealed tight. Um, there's plenty of tape on here, not like an excessive amount, but um, I wanna show you, they have like this really cute tape. Can you see that? It's like their brand and it's just really cute. It says Yummer's Delight Wax and Bath Bakery, which I think is so cute. Um, and then yeah, inside there's like plenty of squigglies. I don't know if you can see it at all, but lots of squigglies in there. So very well packaged. Um, I'm assuming these two that are sitting right on top are extras that they sent. Everything in here um, is scent shots they had another one dollar scent, so scent shot sale so i couldn't resist um i feel like this is like super crooked is that better i don't know hopefully it's okay but yeah they um had another one dollar scent scent shot sale i think they're usually a dollar 85 um i think Anyway, a dollar for a two ounce scent shot is a crazy good deal. So I had to jump on it. I probably will every time, um, especially since I'm getting used to their wax and all of these scents are new to me. I think I don't, I might have repurchased, repurchased one. I'm not sure. They might be all new to me. Anyway, this is a great way to try their different scents and then, um, if I want to, I can try to get it in a bigger size or purchase more of the scent shots or whatever. Anyway, the first extra in here is Toasty Loops. And like, look how cute the labels are. I just love it. I love the whole aesthetic. Their scents that I've tried so far have been great. I'm just loving this vendor. You know what? I didn't get the scent notes. I did that last time too. I forgot that they're not on here. This is definitely Fruit Loops, but what else is in here? Ugh, I forget how, I think Jason said how to get these out of the cups easily, but I completely forgot what he said. Definitely Fruit Loops, fruit loops and I do, I like cereal scents. I don't purchase them often, but I do really like them. What else is in there? It's toasty loop, so it could be like a toasted marshmallow. I don't think it's like an actual toast. I don't get any like bread from this. Um, but I think I do get a toasted marshmallow in there. And that's nice. Yeah, I don't know why I don't purchase more cereal blends because I do really like them. And then the other like freebie that was in here is split personality. And I think I did see this on the website and I think it is pink sugar and blue sugar. Yeah. So it's like that purple sugar blend that a lot of vendors do. Nope, definitely can't get it out and I just threw it. Oh my goodness. Okay. I kind of like, I don't know. The other one came out fairly easily. There we go. I broke it a little bit, but it's um, like pink and blue, obviously. Hopefully the glare's not crazy. 
This smells good. I like pink sugar and blue sugar, so. I will definitely melt that. Um, I guess I'll try to pull up the set notes on my phone while I'm doing this. One second. Okay, I just pulled up the scent list. Hopefully I can find them quickly, um, but we'll see how it goes. So the scent shots come in bags like this. They're tied up. It's great so then they're not like rolling around in there, even though they do put plenty of the little squiggly things. Um, oh shoot, I forgot to bring the scissors over. And I just, yeah, I'll just rip the bag. Okay. Oh, so I did um, repurchase one of the scents that I got last time, and this is Moon Over Manhattan. I believe this is like a Palo Santo. I think so. Maybe like a sugar cookie Palo Santo. Let me see. Uh, Palo Santo fire roasted marshmallows. Yeah, and then so I do think that that Fruit Loop scent had um, like a roasted or toasted marshmallow in it because it has a similar note. Seriously, I don't know how to get these out. I should have looked at, ugh, what Jason said, I forget. Um, yeah. Yeah, I repurchased this one because it smells so good. It performed really well. I just love it. It's just like a classic Palo and marshmallow scent. It's really nice. Um, Okay, the next one is Munchies at Midnight. And this is Captain Crunch and Fire Roasted Marshmallows. Um, so I finally ordered a cereal blend. Oh, that smells so good. This smells like um, Crunch Berries. I'm not gonna pop it out because I can smell it pretty well and you can see the colors in there. It's really cute. Yeah, definitely like crunch berries Ugh, and that marshmallow note. This smells so good. Oh my goodness, yeah, that's really nice. I, I need more um, cereal blends for summer because that's just like so good. Okay, the next one is Rainbow Sherbet Cone or Sherbert, however um, you say it. I think that is on here. Let me see. QRS. <laughs> there it is. Fruity Sherbet and Yummy Crisp Waffle Cone. I mean, I could have guessed that, but. All right, this one's a little bit lighter on top. Let me rub it, warm it up. There we go. I get, um, yeah, I get both of those. I get the sherbet and the waffle cone. That smells really good. This one came out super easy. Oh yeah, that smells like summer. I like that. I. I'm trying to branch out a little bit more for this summer um, and get scents that I wouldn't normally get because I don't know, I feel like I just fall into like melting the same things over and over again. That smells really good. It smells like summer. I look forward to it. Um, the next one is Pink Summer and this is Clean Cotton and Sea Splash. So clean cotton is like my favorite laundry oil and with a sea splash. This is so good. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so good. And there's what that one looks like. Hopefully it's in focus. Um, yeah, this one is really good. Like I probably should have grabbed a few more of these. I thought I had it figured out, but it's still, 
doesn't want to come out. There we go. Um, oh, I love this. So I don't know what the sea splash is. It doesn't smell like salty sea air to me. It just smells so good. And the clean cotton and then just like a fresh, uh, like a fresh aquatic. Yeah, I love that one. I'm so excited. <laughs> this order, I knew, I mean, I knew I was gonna love it. That's really good. Definitely should have gotten a few more of that one. You just never know. I mean, I should have known clean cotton and sea splash. How could I go wrong with that? But okay, the next one is Gnarly Waves. I just love that name. Um, this one is Aquatic Sea Salt Mist. So this might be Salty Sierra. We will see. Um, it could be. It smells different to me, but maybe they just have a different kind of Salty Sierra oil. I don't know. No, this smells um, different from Salty Sierra to me, but it smells fresher. Like, I don't know how to explain how Salty Sierra smells to me. It doesn't smell salty to me. I don't know. I can't even explain it. But this one really smells like, like misty. Mmm. Yeah, I like this. That's really nice. It That might um, be a lighter scent, just like by nature, but smells really good. Nice and fresh. Some of the, a bunch of these lids popped off. Um, the next one, is this one in? Okay. The next one is Dirty Little Liar. I want to say this is the Lush, um, oh, what's it called? Is it called Dirty? I forget. Um, I think this is a Lush type. Dirty Little Liar, yeah, Dirty Lush Dupe. Um, so it's Fresh Mint, Moss, and Spearmint. Oh, this is really nice. I don't know if I, I'm sure I have smelled the Lush um, scent before. It's been so long though since I've been to a Lush store or, you know, have had anything. This smells really good. Definitely fresh mint and spearmint. I smell the two different mints in here. Ugh. That's really nice. Fresh, minty, and earthy. I love it. Okay, there we go. The next one is, oh, see the lids are flying off. There we go. The next one is Twisted Pretzel. Oh, I already smelled it just from the lid coming off. Um, I picked this up because I saw, oh my goodness, what's her name? Um, something diary is it nikki's wax diary i forget guys but i saw her talking about this um and i think she was saying that she really liked it i it's cherry i know that and i'm not a big cherry fan but i like it in some things um so this twisted pretzel is fresh baked pretzels cherry marshmallow and cherry frosting even though I'm not a big cherry fan, that sounded really good to me. So I just wanted to try it. And this smells so good. What in the world? Ugh, that smells so good. And there's what the top looks like. It's just like everything is so well done. Like the details. I love it. Um, Wow, this smells really good. I could have gotten more of this one too. I was just nervous about that cherry. It's like a so salty, soft pretzel. 
yeah, with like a cherry icing on top. That's what it smells like. Mmm. Yeah, I really like this one. I... Dang it, I should have cut more of some of these. I mean, there's always, you know, they'll come back around if they're not still available, but that one's really good. Um, okay, the last one in this bag is, this lid will not stay on. There we go. Um, King's Throne. And I want to say this had Lord of Misrule in it, but let me just double check. Um, King's Throne. Yeah, Clean Cotton and Lord of Misrule. Like I said, love Clean Cotton, love Lord of Misrule. And this is really nice. And there's what the top looks like. I am going to try to pop all these out though because... Um, I can definitely get a better sense of them when I do. I'm so sorry if you don't like long videos. Uh, yeah, this is really good. Really, really good. Um, definitely clean cotton and Lord of Misrule, but they're blending together really nicely. Hmm. Yeah, it's like a cleaned up version. I'm Lord of this roll. Ugh, I like that. That's perfect. So excited. Yeah, really like that. Um, like I said, this is quickly becoming like one of my favorite vendors to order from. The whole experience is just really fun. Um, the next one is Boardwalk Betty. Is that in this? No. Luckily, they have everything in alphabetical order, so it doesn't take super long to find them. Um, Boardwalk Betty is co copper coconut, Bath and Body Works type, and then pineapple mango. This is kind of a like wild card scent for me. Um, I, I think I do like copper coconut. I don't know and usually I don't do like tropical fruities but I'm really starting to open up a bit more to them so I wanted to give this a try it sounded super summery and this is good <laughs> this is very summery um, I am a fall lover but the last few years I've been trying really hard to just appreciate all the seasons and I'm definitely looking forward to summer this year, um, which I don't normally, unless, you know, I love, I love the beach. So I want it to be hot and muggy and all the things when I'm at the beach. But if I'm not at the beach, I want fall. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to summer this year very much. And this is really good. The, okay, I like copper coconut. It does have like a tinge of that like burnt hair coconut that I don't love. But I don't think that's gonna be an issue on warm because it's it's like barely there on cold. And I'm really liking the pineapple mango situation here. Mm. Yeah, I like that. I don't know, for some reason this year I'm like really coming around to um, pineapple scents. I used to never like order them or enjoy them at all but something has changed this year um so this one is smells like teen spirit and i just love that label the little nirvana smiley face um so i'm pretty sure this is just nag champa and bergamot so i won't look up the notes yeah really nice i think i got their nag champa scent in my last order and then this one just has the bergamot added. Um, but I really like this. They have a good Nag Champa. I cannot pop this one out. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I really like that bergamot added. Um, it's like blue and yellow tie-dye. 
That's lovely. Ugh. It just smells like Spencer's or something. Oh yeah, like do you guys remember Spencer's in like the late 90s? That's what this smells like. Oh my goodness, so good. Okay, that one I would definitely get more of also. Um, and the next one, Okay, I had to pause for a second. The next one is Mr. Frasier, um, and it just says Mysterious Woodsy Zest of Nature. So let's see what this smells like. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love that. It's like this pretty green. Okay, this, ouch, um, smells so good. <laughs> There we go. I'm getting wax everywhere. Oh, this smells so good. This is definitely tree. I'm just trying to figure out if there's anything else in here. It might be a couple different trees. Because I feel like I get like a fir, but also a pine. Oh, I really like this. This could be nice for like Christmas time or winter, but I feel like it's just a fresh outdoors, outdoorsy like any time of year scent. Like this would be nice in the summer. Oh, I really like that. I mean, I love tree scents. So I expected to love this. Um, really, really good. All right. The next one is Sea Salt Splash. And I don't think this one is um, Salty Sierra either. Let's see. Sea Salt Splash. Yeah, Sea Salt Splash is Salty Sierra, but also Zesty Cherry and Lemon Sorbet. Again, going out on a limb, but this sounded lovely for summertime. And this one's layered, so they are probably all different scents. Yeah. Oh, that smells good. So the like pink on the bottom is definitely cherry. And then I want to say the lemon is in the middle. I think. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely getting all three of those, the lemon, the cherry, and the sea salt mist. Not the sea, the salty sea air, sorry. Sea salt mist was a sensi scent. And this is really nice. It's like making my mouth water. Again, that cherry is really good. It's not a medicinal cherry. It's almost like a cherry juice. Yeah, I like that one. So some, a lot of these I probably will hold on to um, for a few more weeks. And well, actually it's supposed to get in the 90s here this weekend, I think. So really I could start with some <laughs> Some more summery scents, um, but we'll see. Uh, the next one is Lasso the Moon, and this just gave me George Bailey vibes, so I had to pick it up. Um, the notes are lavender, mint, and pink sugar. Yep, <laughs> and that's what it is. Um, it's you know your classic like bedtime blend it's really good though it smells super strong mm, i really like that that's i don't i don't i don't know if the lavender mint is one oil because it says lavender mint all together plus pink sugar but that almost gives me like white tic tac vibes and you guys know 
the white Tic Tac minty scents um, reminds me remind me of my Pat Paw. And that's what I'm getting here. This is really comforting to me. Yeah, that one I would probably get more of just based on cold. Um, really good. One more in this bag, and then I think I have one more bag. Um, this one is That's So Nutty. And I think this one, if I'm not mistaken, I think this one had pistachio. I could be wrong. Um, yeah, That's So Nutty, pistachio, cardamom, and vanilla pound cake. So I'm hoping it's not a super cherry pistachio. Oh, and it's not, it's good. That vanilla pound cake, I think I've had that oil from other vendors. It's almost like a powdery cake scent. I like this, that's what that looks like. Let me pop it out. If I can, some of them just come right out. Um, oh yeah, this is good. This is really good. I definitely get more of the cardamom once I pop it out. Oh, I like this. I would get more of this. Yeah, the pistachio is definitely like a creamy, nutty pistachio, not a cherry pistachio at all. The cardamom is like so warm. It is a spice, so I mean, this is a little spicy, but it's mostly like a warm kind of spice, if, if that makes sense. It's kind of like um, like when you get a cinnamon sugar blend as opposed to just a straight up cinnamon blend. It's more of a warm feel rather than a spicy feel, if that makes sense. This is bomb. Wow. Yeah, I would. I would definitely get more of that. I don't think the sale is happening anymore. I'll double check though. Um, that is really good. Okay, just one more bag here. And the first one is Cherry Vanilla Dr. Pepper. So you can see I was really taking a chance with all these um, like cherry scents, but I'm telling you, after watching, I think her name's Nikki. I think it's Nikki's Wax Diary. I could be wrong. I'll try to link her um, YouTube in the description. But after watching her talk about that cherry pretzel scent, I just felt comfortable taking a risk with some of these cherry blends. Um, so this one is Fizzy Dr. Pepper, Creamy Vanilla, and Zesty Cherry. That just sounds amazing. Yep, and this is good. <laughs> Let me see. Oh yeah. This is a really good cherry Dr. Pepper scent. And that's what that one looks like. Mmm, that's good. Again, it's not medicinal cherry at all. you get everything in there. It, it definitely, that Dr. Pepper, a creamy vanilla, and a zesty cherry. I mean, it almost is like a cherry um, grenadine. Mmm, that's good. I like that. Glad I picked that one up. Um, next is Bunnies go to bed, and I had to make sure I didn't already get this one last time, and I didn't see it, so I don't think I did. This one is lavender chamomile, pink sugar, and ice cream scoop bread. That bunny looks so familiar to me. I don't know. <laughs> um, this is good. It's a little light on top. Let me see if I can pop it out. Sorry, I keep saying that, but like sometimes I really don't know if I can get it out. Um, did I get it? 
there we go. Oh yeah, I can smell it way more on the bottom. Mmm, that's nice. Definitely lavender chamomile pink sugar, but it has that little hint of a bakery kind of note. Oh yeah, I really like that. That's nice. That would that would be a nice um, bedtime scent. And this is another like nice kind of bedroom compromise scent for me and my husband because he really wants more bakery in the bedroom and I am all about like lavenders and rains and like fresh things. This is, this is yummy. I like that. Bunnies go to bed. That's really good. If you like a nice like lavender pink sugar with a little bit of bakery, that's nice. Um, the next one, Taffy by the Sea. I don't usually do like the taffy scents either. Usually they're like super light to me um, or they're super, I don't know, like sweet. But let's see. This one is saltwater taffy and crisp sea air. So it says take a sweet trip on the boardwalk, clean but sweet blend. That sounded nice to me. So I'm expecting it still to be sweet, but hopefully that clean note kind of helps. <laughs> Oh yeah, I get the the crisp sea air. I don't know. Again, it doesn't smell like salty sea air to me. Yeah, I get like equal parts saltwater taffy and that sea air note. This is good too. Mm, yeah, this is summery. I like it. Yeah, that's good. I'm sorry if it's annoying that I just keep saying everything smells good, but it does. If I didn't think it smelled good, I would tell you. <laughs> um, I don't know. They smell good. I don't know what else to say. Uh, the next one is Under the Boardwalk. And this is citrus infused with sandalwood, cedar, vetiver, notes of sage and thyme. Very fresh and clean. I Please like explain to me why I only picked up one of these. It sounds amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is good. This is so good. Um, it has... I just want to smell the bottom before I form an actual opinion but oh man I need more of this I need I need lots more of this it is a little masculine leaning so I don't know if this is like one scent oil oh, it's like a really nice fresh um, cologne or like a really nice fresh body wash mm, I would say more on the cologne side but not like assaulting your nasal passages at all. Wow, I really like this. And you can smell all of those notes in here, the citrus, the sandalwood, cedar, vetiver, like those woodsy notes, the citrus, the herbal notes from the sage and the thyme, but they're just making this really beautiful, like slightly cologne situation. I'm obsessed with this. Wow. Okay. That is already, I can tell, going to be a repurchase. It smells nice and strong on cold. It smells amazing. Um, next is, lid fell off. Cali Vibes, and it has that really nice Volkswagen on there. Um, this is Thai sticky rice and plus teak wood and cardamom. So blend of exotic spices of clove, cardamom, cinnamon over cedar wood, patchouli, and sandalwood with rice simmered in brown sugar and coconut milk. Tell me that doesn't sound amazing. So it has that Thai sticky rice note with teak wood and cardamom. I'm like, that sounds so good. 
Okay, on top, I definitely get the Thai sticky rice. Let me pop it out. Mmm, this is nice. This is really nice. What in the world? I'm telling you guys, I feel like there's so many blends that this vendor does that I don't see from any other vendors. <laughs> this is so good. It's like a pink. I don't know if it's coming across very well. It's like that warm Thai sticky rice. If you've smelled that from other vendors, you can imagine what it smells like here. It's like that warm, toasty Thai sticky rice. But then you get that teakwood and cardamom. It's like deep in there, but I feel like it's going to come out more and warm. Oh, this is so good. It's just like a really warm kind of blend. I really like that. Cali vibes. That is good. I... So impressed with these scents. Um, the next one is, oh, okay, birthday cheesecake shake. Um, I wouldn't have guessed that I would have picked this up, but let's see. Birthday cheesecake and vanilla ice cream. That, I mean, that does sound good. Ooh. All right, I gotta pop it out, but there's what the top looks like. So, Right away on top, I got that vanilla ice cream and it smelled really good. But let's see if I get more of the birthday cheesecake on the bottom. I guess I have been trying to add some like foodie scents to my orders because I do want to melt them sometimes and I just don't have many. Um, let me see. Okay. Oh yeah, that's nice. Mmm, <laughs> I mean, I want to eat it, but it smells good. Yeah, like a, almost like a funfetti birthday cake with cheesecake. Definitely get the vanilla ice cream. This is really nice. Mmm, I do want to eat it though. Oh man, that's good. All right, well, I'm pleasantly surprised with how much I like that one. Um, and I don't get like a sour tone to that at all. It just smells really good. All right, next one, tall glass and a cookie. Look how cute that is. Um, this is I went past it. Um, tall glass and a cookie. Ultimate cookies and milk. Creamy milk over iced sugar cookie and fire roasted marshmallow. I do like milk and cookie blends. Okay, on top I mostly get that marshmallow note and I, I really like um, their fire roasted marshmallow note. It's really nice. It's definitely a little smoky but not like, I wouldn't say it's like crazy smoky like if you can handle a little bit of smoke, I think you would like it. Definitely like a toasted, roasted marshmallow. All right, this one is good. I like it, but then I get like this after scent of, mm, I get like a little bit of that like sour note but I think I'm gonna like it a warm. Mm. It does smell really good. <laughs> it's blue. Yeah, it smells really good. But like I said, I do get like, just like the tiniest like after scent of that like sour note that some people get from milk. I usually don't get that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like it on warm though. I don't think that's gonna be an issue on warm. That smells good. Tall glass and a cookie. Um, okay, last one. Oh my goodness, 
the like all the lids were coming off. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. Um, this one is Lavender Joe, and the notes are lavender, coconut milk, coffee, and honey. So I've had like lavender coffee blends before, and I usually really like them. Um, I'm a little nervous about the coconut milk. Sometimes that can be a very burnt hair coconut to me, but I thought the honey sounded interesting in here. It just sounded good, so I picked it up. Let's see. Ooh. This is nice. So at first I did get that like coconut milk like right away, but as it airs out for a few seconds, they're definitely like, all the notes are blending really nicely. Let me pop it out. Easier said than done. There we go. Mm, I think I like this. Um, this is what I'm definitely gonna have to like melt to be sure of, but oh, it does smell good. You get everything. You get the coffee, you get the lavender, the coconut milk, and the honey. And the honey isn't too like cloying for me. Sometimes it can be. Yeah, I like this. Like I said, I usually do like lavender coffee blends. This one's really nice. It almost, sometimes coffee can lean a little chocolate to me and this one almost does. I still like it though, we'll see how it warms up. Mmm, that smells good. <laughs> okay, that is everything that I picked up. Um, and they were kind enough to put a 20% off code on my invoice, so I will definitely take advantage of that with my next order. Um, I know that I'll be ordering again because like you can tell how much I'm, <laughs> I'm enjoying these blends. Um, I don't know, like I said, I'm just super impressed with this vendor. I really like the scents, I like the presentation, I like the, like, it seems like they have really good customer service. I mean, they put like a little handwritten note on the invoice, you get an invoice, you get a business card. Like I said, I got a coupon code this time. My order shipped out within a day. I'm pretty sure I ordered Sunday night and it shipped. I got a shipping notification at 7 a.m. the next morning and it came. So I got a shipping notification Monday morning. My order arrived Wednesday, like super fast shipping. Um, just everything. I haven't had like one complaint other than I wish that these had the set notes, but that's really not, you know, super important. At least they have them on the website so I can reference it. I could always write them down when I order, but I just forget sometimes. Anyway, loving this vendor, happy with everything so far. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed all of these scents. Um, I don't even know how many it is, so like 20 or something like that. Um, I don't know, but to like all of them, that's like unheard of. They just have really good blends. I don't know what else to say. They have really good blends. Um, I'm sure there will be, you know, a time where I melt something or order something that I don't really like, but so far, so good. Super happy with this vendor. Let me know if you've tried this vendor. Um, what are some of your favorite scents that they offer? Um, oh, I was going to look and see if they were still doing the sale. Let me just see really quickly. No, they're back up to $1.85, which I think is still a really good price for these, but I will definitely hold out for the dollar sale because obviously then I can get a little bit more. Um, yeah, anyway, super good blends loving this vendor so happy we'll definitely make another order um yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're all doing well and i will talk to you all later bye